Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about this measuring device, uh, the Johansson Mikokato. Uh, this was uh, invented by a guy named uh, uh, Abramson in uh, 1938 and it's uh, also known as the Abramson's uh, movement. Uh, most uh, Mikokatos I've seen uh, are made by the CE Johansson a company here in Sweden. Uh, you might know about C.E. Johansson, he's the guy who invented gauge blocks and uh, the C.E. Johansson factory have made a lot of measuring devices but uh, apparently he did not invent this one. Uh, the Mikrokato uh, can't really be used on its own. Uh, the most common accessory is a stand like this one. Uh, there's also a lot of other uh, different accessories, for example a whole for measuring round stock and a lot of stuff like that. There's also uh, higher stands for measuring bigger things. Here's the Russian Mikrokato that I found on a flea market and you can see here's the Russian letters made in the USSR I guess and it also says here uh, Mikrokato in Kyrillic letters. To use the Mikrokato you will also need a set of gauge blocks like these. Uh, you've probably seen these before. You have different size blocks and by putting these together you can uh, get practically any measurement you want. I brought the camera in so you can get a closer look at the scale and as you can see one division on this micrometer is one thousandth of a millimeter. And when I move the fine threaded nut at the base of the stand you can see the hand is moving. I got this block about a week ago and it's supposed to be 20 millimeters thick but uh, I know it's a bit thicker uh, it's approximately 20.05 and I'm going to measure this with the Mikrokato to get a precise measurement. So uh, first uh, I take a 10 millimeter gauge block wipe off the grease and I put it here then a 9 millimeter block and I wipe off the grease and then we have 19 millimeters I take the 1.05 millimeter block and wipe that one clean now I know that we have 20.05 millimeters and now I lower the Mikrokato until it makes contact with the gauge blocks and then I crank this screw very fine threaded screw until the needle is at zero okay then I remove the gauge blocks and I know now that if this is exactly 20.05 millimeters uh, this needle will be at zero. Okay, so now I put the item to be measured on top here and I can see that this is at, right now it's at 8 which means it's eight thousandths of a millimeter more than 20.05 millimeters. So now it's 20.058 millimeters. As you've seen, this is a very accurate measuring device. Uh, it usually has an accuracy of a thousandth of a millimeter, uh, but uh, it's still a very rugged and reliable tool. It has no, uh, no friction and no backlash. And uh, I'm going to show you how uh, it works. Uh, I removed five screws here that keeps the device together and I'm going to remove the lid here. The very heart of this measuring device is this twisted bronze ribbon that uh, you can see here and when I press the plunger from down below uh, a mechanism stretches this ribbon and as the ribbon is stretched it untwists and by the untwisting uh, action 
the needle moves as you can see here. Here are some pictures of the mechanisms of the, the Mikulkato. Uh, first one picture I found on Wikipedia and the second uh, a picture from a book I have. Uh, that'll be all for today. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the Johansson Mikukato, also known as Abramson's movement. See you later. Bye bye.